So the topic of this video is, uh, or I should say it centers around a question that we actually get asked quite a bit. Uh, and, and this is a topic that we've actually alluded to in other supplemental training videos that we've produced over the past couple of years. But, but the question, uh, and it gets asked a couple of different ways, but it usually goes something like this. Hey, Tim, so I'm on the panel's embedded whiteboard or using the panel's whiteboard tools in screen annotation mode. And I'm writing and I'm writing and I'm writing and all of a sudden, oh no, wait a minute, it stops writing and then it starts running again. Or here's another option. If I go, okay, I'll choose that, great. I'm gonna take my thin stylus, choose that color and that thickness, that's fine. I'm gonna take my finger, choose a different color and a different thickness, okay? And then you can be writing and then it'll just, it'll just change color like that, okay? That's actually not a bug, that's a feature. It's designed to do that, okay? So there are a couple of things happening here uh, that are worth knowing so that you kind of, if you understand what's happening, then you can take steps to, to mitigate that so you don't run into issues or you run into fewer issues when you're trying to write and then some weirdness happens because it's not the panel acting abnormally. It's actually designed <laughs> to do the thing that's happening. The first thing we want to talk about is how touch works on the panel. You could be forgiven for thinking, as, as a lot of people think, is that touch is in the glass. Um, which for some panels, yeah, that's actually true. In so, on some panels, touch is actually in the glass itself, but not on the RS Plus. Uh, on this particular panel, uh, and this is actually pretty common, a lot of panels um, have touch operate this way. Touch is not in the glass, it's actually an array or handled by an array of infrared sensors all around the bezel of the panel. And so the result of that is, you're get, when you get a, an object very, very, very close to the glass, not even touching, but just really, really close, and you do have to be very close, then you're breaking the plane of those sensors, and that's how it registers a touch. So it's not about the glass, it's about the, the infrared sensors. So when you know that, it, it does make a little bit of sense when you think about, oh, okay, so I moved my hand across, and I didn't touch the panel, but something showed up, it drew a line. I didn't mean for it to do that. You know, and I tell folks, you know, if you're, if you're wearing something long and flowy or if you have dangly jewelry, and I make the joke, this is why I leave my long flowy things and my dangly jewelry at home. Every now and then that joke gets a chuckle every once in a while. Uh, but no, but for real, that's actually what's happening. Uh, now, you don't mean for it to happen, but in fact, that's, you know, it's, it's breaking the plane of those infrared sensors. Same kind of thing when we're holding a stylus. I tell folks, if you hold it close, chances are, a knuckle's gonna get in the way, okay? You don't mean for it to happen, but that could be what's happening. Hold the stylus a little farther back and you'll find that it will happen less frequently than if you hold, if you held the stylus very, very close to the tip. So that's, that's a way to mitigate that. So understanding how touch works is the first part of that. But this part right here, like I said, see it's designed to do that. And that's called object recognition. That's the second part of it is, is how is object recognition configured? Because again, the panel is designed to actually differentiate between a thin tipped object like the stylus, a thicker object such as your finger or the back of a stylus, that works too, and a real thick object, palm or fist, that's actually a race. Okay, so again, that's completely by design. Depending on how you have object recognition configured, and the way we figure that out is we go down here to settings, this button right here, and then there it is right there, object recognition. A lot of people like this second option. I'm gonna talk about this option here first. This is, this is by default. So if you don't change it, right with fine pen only is a default setting. And what that means is thin is right, and then thick, such as my finger, that is select and move. Okay, and we already said that palm or fist, that's a race. Okay, so it's about selecting objects. You can also move around the infinite canvas. So that's how it works by default, where the, where the thick object is a selecting tool. Now, of course, a lot of people like having it as a writing utensil. That's the second option, right, with fine pen or fingers. And sure enough, your fingers are writing utensil. So that's how it actually works. First of all, touch and how touch works, an array of infrared sensors around the panel. And then the fact that object recognition is in play produces the result when you're writing something weird happens it stops writing or draws a different color or something along those lines if you decide that 
this is all just too complicated. You just don't want to even deal with it. I just, I just want to get on screen, man. I don't care about any of this other stuff. That's no problem. You can actually go back into that settings menu and you can turn object recognition off entirely. So none of that comes into play. But if you do that, then you got to know that it's going to be one color. Whatever color you select, whatever thing you select, that's it. And you have to touch buttons to do everything else. So, so it's, it's more of a, a manual proposition uh, if you do it that way. But that's how touch works. Hopefully this helps answer uh, some of those questions of, hey, Tim, I'm writing and something weird is happening. What's going on? Uh, now you know how touch works and what object recognition is and how it comes into play. And hopefully that helps. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.